Our next two chords we're going to be learning are the D and E minor chord. You first remember you learned the G and then move it down to the C. The D chord, you want to keep those bottom two strings still pressed. Remove your middle finger all together and just use your first finger and play the third string second fret. And you're going to strum the bottom four or the bottom five, either way. I do the bottom four, but you can do either one. So again, now for the D chord, I've got my pinky finger, just like the G and C, on the third fret, bottom string. I've got my ring finger on the second string, third fret. And I'm taking this first finger and going the third string, second fret. Playing the bottom four strings. So again, notice I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna go from the G to the C to the D, and notice how these bottom two fingers never are removed from the guitar. So G, one, two, three, four to C, one, two, three, four to D, back to C. So for example, on Chris Tomlin's Holy is the Lord, it starts out. We stand and lift up our hands. So right there, there's your, you can see the first part of that song uses the G, the C, then the D. And the last chord you need to know to play that whole song is the E minor. And that's the fourth chord of our four major chords. So we've got G to C to D. For the E minor, again, you're keeping the bottom two strings of the third fret pressed. And this, and with the um, first finger, there's two ways to do this. I'm going to show you the way I do it first. You're going to play the fifth and fourth string of the second fret. What I do is use my first finger and press right in between the two strings in order to press them both down. Right there. So again, the middle finger is totally off the guitar, the way I do it and you play all six strings. That's the E minor. Sometimes beginners, their fingers aren't really used to pressing the strings, so they find it a little difficult to press two strings with one finger. What you do with in that case is use these, the first and the middle finger and play the fifth and fourth string like that. So instead of there, you're going there. Again, same chord, it's an E minor chord. I prefer to go press right in between them to play all six. Many people find it easier to play that way. So you can see you got your first and middle finger on the second fret, fifth and fourth string. These two still on the bottom two strings, third fret, and you're playing all six. Back to D, remember? To E minor. D, to E minor, to D. So there are our four major praise and worship chords. If you learn nothing else from the video, constantly practice these four chords. So you got G, C, D, E minor. The way I like to practice, I have two sets of ways that I practice these chords. I will go G, C, D minor, and D. Four beats each one, I'll go G, C, E minor, D. You kind of are walking down the guitar. The other way is I'll go G, to D. minor to C. So again, these four chords are the ones you really want to get comfortable with because this is where all the praise and worship songs really go back to. Um, so again, if we're talking about the Chris Tomlin song, 
I went G, C, D, then I went E minor, C, D. Again, there's all different orders. We'll talk about that later. But these four chords are what you really want to work on. Your G, your D, I mean your G, your C, your E minor, and D. Don't forget on the D and the E minor, you're not using the middle finger at all unless on the E minor you're playing it this way. But once you go down to the D, remove your middle finger and E minor. D, E minor. D, E minor. So these are your four major praise and worship chords. The G, the C, the E minor, and the D.